there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 special prizes. And um, the first one, um, Senor Casieles, you want to um, give out the first prize to the Canadian Commissioner. Regua, um, you need to accept the special prize for David Handelman for early Canadian AR. And the prize is from Argentina. Number 17. Um, the second special prize, number 18, goes to Brick Simonac, the Canadian Pioneer Air Force, 1918-1922. Is there somebody from the CAS? <coughs> Sorry, if it's not the CAS. Sorry. <laughs> Asociación uh, Pilateria de Rio de Rio. Oh. Answer to his name, he's not here. Association was kind enough to give us four um, special prizes. They're all the little uh, cups with the words of KPEX 22 on them. Um, the first one goes to Simon Moorcroft. Columbia's 
Basri's Esfahani, Persia, 1876. Great, you might have to get up again. <laughs> Robert Bohertz, American Prototype, Two Cent Instructive Clauses, 1867. Um, Senor Neto. Brazil's special prize number 23 goes to Robert Foster, United States, for bisects and quadrisects of colonial Nova Scotia. You may hear that the same person may win different awards. They were allowed to have up to three exhibits in the show. Everybody was allowed up to have up to three exhibits. Um, Harry, uh, and <coughs> how are you going to take a picture and give it to your Um <coughs> The Collectors Club of Chicago. Serpentine Roulette Editions. <laughs> Simon, could you come this time as a commissioner? Uh, Heinz. Heinz Young. Okay. Um, Peter. The prize is offered by Fesofi Chibe, number 25, to Chris Simons, Great Britain, the Victorian one pound Oblong postage tax. <laughs> and Greg again. <laughs> Unfortunately, this exhibitor left this morning very early. Um, special prize. Uh, from the Israeli Philatelic Federation. Um, Mr. Glassman goes to Doug Wise, New Orleans, in the Confederate Postal System. And you can stay here, Greg. <laughs> Smith, Hong Kong, China, or Prince. to um, Marcos Chusid from Brazil. It's prize offered by New Zealand for the Treaty of Bern in Brazil, 1877. Grégoire. <laughs> Grégoire has offered a prize, a special prize, and Simon Moorcroft. It's being offered to Brian Callum, the United Kingdom Electric Telegraph Company, 1846-1870. They all want to go away so fast. Um, the next prize goes to, uh, from India, uh, 
goes to Jill Hare, Admirals in Old Place. Is the Indian Commissioner here? Oh. <coughs> see this exhibit because it's done in a very particular fashion. It's a, it, a normal one frame exhibit has 16 pages. This one has two. <laughs> They're vertical in the size of eight pages. So it's well worth the effort to see the original creativity of the exhibit. Damien Laga. He's sleeping over his Grand Prix bus. <laughs> um, Steve, do you want to come anyway? Or? The Canadian Airmail Society is offering um, the best airmail, it's prize number six, to Dating Maga for the Pigeon Mail of Great Barrier Island. 
That is the exhibit that won the Grand Award of the show. <laughs> and Dayton Laga is a very versatile exhibitor. And he's won another best in class, and this is for thematics. So, uh, Peter, Sahad. <clears throat> The prize is offered by David von Wachlund. And, and the exhibit is the Maori pigeon. That's a city swap as such. Okay. That's a city swap as such. Quebec offers the best in class for Maxim and Philly, and it goes to. Oh, good God. <laughs> Ostian Petau? Right. Okay. <laughs> Slovenia. Uh, Simon. This time it's my price. <laughs> um, it goes to Christopher Harmon, the best in revenue for Banco Duty Congreve Compound Pipe Printing. postcard and Barbie Henderson and Wynne Boyd are here to give out the prize. <laughs> or at least one of them is here to give out the prize. Um, <clears throat> it goes to Cheryl Gons. Shirley Girth philatelists are offering the best prize for um, the open class, um, which in North America we call display. It goes to Joshua Madger of Israel for starvation famine relief in Research Foundation um, Medal to the Best Youth. The medal was created um, many years ago in memory of the late Governor General of Canada, Roland Michener, and it's a sterling silver medal. Um, and it, it is particularly dedicated to youth. Um, and His Excellency was, of all the Governor Generals we had, a sound collector. Um, so the best youth exhibit <coughs> goes to the primary school of Zalek of Slovenia. <laughs> Foster. The last um, best in class goes to, it's called the other class, um, 
that's basically everything else. But mainly uh, first day covers. Um, and the American First Day Cover Society, represented by Foster Miller, um, <coughs> is offering the class prize for best in class. Unfortunately, it has yet to arrive to the American Postal System and the Canadian Postal System. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, the winner is um, James Robert Taylor, uh, France, 1934, anti tuberculosis uh, campaign. Yeah, but the name was having a different kind of exhibition as you can do certain things that are not normal in the, in, in the international world. We asked the APE um, if we could copy their team competitions um, and we extended it to the international level and we were quite pleased to find out that there were 100 people who were interested in joining 18 teams. Um, the way the team competition works is that each team member's uh, points, the results they get for their exhibits, are added together. And then they get bonus points if they win a grand award, if they win best in class, if they win um, a special prize. And they also get bonus points if their team is composed of exhibitors from different countries rather than all from the same country. There are normally five exhibitors per team. There are a couple of teams here who only have four and the reason for that is because in some cases the exhibits have been withdrawn um, uh, for all kinds of reasons and the decision was not to penalize the team, so we averaged it, the scores for those teams. There are three um, prizes, a gold, silver, and a bronze. They are all going to be like this. The winner's name, the KPEX logo is going to be on it. The winner's name, the medal level, gold, silver, bronze and they will be um, shipped to the, the winners in the next few months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sandeep has been the keeper of the keys and the keeper of the numbers for um, the team competition for the ADPE. And um, when we did this yesterday with the special prize, Sandeep announced so he's changed his course. Okay, team, uh, by order of descent, team number 18, uh, with 396 points, was the DNAPS Atlantic Canada Privateers. Uh, Gary Steele, James Sogaro, Brian Murphy, Jack Forbes, and Sean Weatherhub, and they're all from the Atlantic Canada. The PSSC Companions came in 17 with 403.75, Robert Bobo, Patrick Durbano, Garfield Porch, and Stephen Friedenthal. The Blue Nose Philatelist, also from the Atlantic, came in the 16th, John Hall, Jeffrey Parks, James Sodero, Gary Steele, and Jack Horst. To be a member of two teams, you have to have two exhibits, two set, two different exhibits. So um, that allowed you to be on two teams. The PSSC buddies, Ingo Nessel, John McIntyre, Robert Anderson, are all covered. 
uh, got 421.25 points and earned 50 position. The bookworms, those are writers, um, are also exhibitors. Andrew Chung, Robert Bogle, Robert, Robin Harris, and Leo Baudet come in at 14th, 422.5. My Oficina, which is a South American uh, organization. Um, I believe there's one more, but uh, this is my office in our FDD. They came in 13 with 430. Andres Schlichter, Lawrence Fisher, Hansel Bellini, and David Brown. The Lakeshore Stamp Club in Montreal came in 12th with John McIntyre, the Artemis Collection, Robert Caswell, and David Bartlett with 432.5. Les Nordic de Quebec, 434 points. Position Holmes, Grégoire Tessier. Simon Morin, Eric Legault, Yann Sauvin, and Luc Frey. The PSSC friends of Toronto, Gene Wag, David McLaughlin, and Alexander Globe. Kevin O'Reilly and Michel Hood came in 10th with 435 points. Now we're changing the order of what we did yesterday. So, number nine, C to C and beyond, 444.5 points. Uh, Don Hedger, Richard Judge, Mark Stelmokovic, Simon Morcroft and Michael Bidman. I can guarantee you this team got, got uh, points for having multi-country participants. Um, team RPSL, um, Ingo Nessel, Carol Bonamarito, Cheryl Thomas, Ian Gibson-Smith and Greg, Greg Redner, 448.5, I think they tied with the previous team. The Inflatables, number seven, 448.5. Uh, Cheryl Goss, Wade Vidal, James Hill, Ryan Callum, and uh, Piyush Kaita. The AAPE All-Stars, Michael Lee, Robert Holters, Carlos Vergara, Jan Hoffman, Hoffmeyer, Jean-Jacques Ciard, 465.5. Um, I miss that one. That's, they're in the fifth. Um, that's where the orders changed. Um, number six is my Oficina of the Originals. Jamie Benavides, Roberto Cravero, Henry, um, Henry Marquez, Alfonso Molina, Eduardo Santos. Number four, Monstes, 465.25. Alvarado Castro, Arigan, Guillermo Gallegos, Victor George Gugliano, and Fernando Eduardo Santos. Now, the bronze medal winner. Um, in number three position with 467.5 from the Royal Phil Dog Society of London, Beirut Nasri, Esfahani, Alfredo Frodish, Mark Schwartz, Peter Copper, and Sandy Jason Jaswald. Number two, the silver medal winners with 472 points. United We Stand, Gregory Schultz, Mark Schwartz, Doug Weiss, Richard Drews, and Anthony Dewey. And the winner, 479 points, just seven points ahead, he is far and near, Chris Harmon, Jean-Jean Siena, Jan Kofka, Janet Banfield, and Sandy Jaswell. And the, one, the reason they won is they're from five different countries. <laughs> <laughs> that gave them the 10 bonus points that made the difference with the other team. So congratulations to all the teams who have participated. It's a great effort, and thank you, Sandy, for organizing it. Um, that's the end of my little steal. Uh, if you wish to get your medals, um, Cindy and Cheryl are in the back with Peter and Joel. I will hand them out. Thank you very much for coming. Only exhibitors are to pick up their medals. The <laughs>